The question I got asked is what happens if you remove a device from your Google account? And I know the answer, and I'm going to show you the answer in this video. But before I do, hit that subscribe and that notify button because I create all of these videos for you. So you manage uh, devices that are connected to your Google account by going to your account, manage your Google account right there. And you go over here and look at security. And in security, you can see right down here, as I can see, I only have two devices. But I'm going to go to manage all. And you can see here's the Mac. And yes, for some reason or other, on Macs, uh, for uh, the Google accounts, it shows up as multiple, not sure why, but it shows up as multiple um, sessions. And that's fine. But this is, in fact, my Mac, and, and which is right here in front of me. Now, Here's the other one, two sessions on iPhones, but it's only one iPhone. So again, on some devices that you see that it shows up as two different sessions. Now, if I click on this, this is the iPhone, I have two choices. Really, I only have one choice. Find device is really going to tell you to go use that device tool to find the device. It really is no way for me to go find it from, the, from my Google account. So let's go back. Let's get out of that. Sign out is basically the step, but it's, it tells you right here, don't recognize something. Basically, what it's saying is if you don't recognize it, sign out of it. So I'm going to hit sign out. Now, it says it's done. Now, because I've given some third-party apps access to my account, if I have, I don't think I have, then it's going to uh, have access to those. But I have signed out of that iPhone. Hit OK. Well, I'm not signed in on either one of these. Let's go back to devices. And it's down to one device now. Manage all devices. It shows that up, it still shows that, but it is no longer signed into that account at all. I'm not sure why it still shows there. Maybe it's a timing period. Oh, 28 days. So within 28 days, that'll go away. Now, so the bottom line, the answer is when you sign out of a device that basically logs you out of the device and forces you to log back in. Okay, so I signed out of my uh, Burris Consulting at gmail.com on uh, from my Mac. Now you can see over here if I go to I'm in um, uh, settings. I went down and from you know, on the iPhone. I don't know exactly what it is on a Android, but it's gonna be similar. Go to Mail, and then you see I have accounts right here, and there's accounts. And then so here's my Gmail testing account, and look, it wants me to sign back in, re-enter password. So if I know the password, I'm gonna be able to do this to get back into it. So I've got to re-enter the password. Let me click in there. Settings wants to use Google.com to sign in. Click. Oh, so it wants to go to the Google uh, accounts.google.com. Click on that account. Click in password. Burris Consulting. Um, this is the value of using LastPass. Hang on, I'm looking at the password. I got the right password. Hit next. Now, in order to validate it, <laughs> sends a verification code there it is there copy that go back paste it come on and hit next and I have to allow and I'm back in so now we go look at my mail and I go switch to my Gmail account. There it is, including the security alert telling me that I've logged into that account on a different device. Cool. Let's go back to the web browser. Summary. When you have a device that's logged on to your Google account, you're not sure of it, you want to get rid of it, you go to uh, myaccount.google.com, go to security, scroll down to devices, and manage the devices and assign that device out of your account. 
if it's a device that you really want to be using, then you'll get the opportunity to sign back in and hopefully you're using two-step verification and then you can get in appropriately. A um, couple things I'm going to repeat. You should be using two-step verification. You should be using a unique password and you should monitor your security settings under myaccount.google and if you see a device that you don't expect to have on there or it's a device that you signed in on in some other space and you wish you would have signed out but you forgot then you can sign out from here i'm teddy your google workspace and gmail strategist trainer and coach and i hope this is helpful for you